Setting up and adjusting the Light Bearing Enigma Express properly is really important for how it's going to fit and perform with your gun. So in this quick start guide, we're going to go over the important details for dialing in your holster retention and getting started with your Express. We're gonna start by adjusting the retention on the floodlight. First, it's important to note that the shock cord is an active component to how the holster fits and how you can adjust it. You'll notice that your floodlight came with a gray shock cord and a red shock cord. The two separate colors are not there for aesthetic preference, but for a very specific purpose. The gray shock cord should be suitable for most guns. The red shock cord is longer and therefore is used for larger handguns such as the P320. To swap out the shock cord, you may want to reference our floodlight assembly video. Once you place your gun into the holster, you'll notice that the retention starts out very loose. This is intentional and should give you the perfect starting point for fitting your specific handgun to your new floodlight. We want to first start by adjusting the shock cord by grabbing the washer and placing it in the center fold. For slimmer guns such as a Glock, Beretta, 1911, or 2011, we recommend starting with both sides of the cording in the center fold. Make sure that you pull the washer all the way through the center loop instead of wrapping them around the edge. At this point, you'll want to assess the retention of the holster on body. We do not recommend using the shake test to assess whether or not your retention is adequate as this can lead to unreliable and inconsistent results. When we place the holster on body, there is added pressure from the belt and faceplate, which will inevitably increase retention. If we test retention off body, then we miss this key part of the process and can end up with undesirable levels of retention. Note also that you'll want to avoid fishing the gun into the holster as this can result in you muzzling your pelvis. The best way to avoid this is to index the light in the holster first and then rock the muzzle inward like so. After you've tested retention, you might find that it needs more or less retention. For less retention, remove one side of the shock cord from the centerfold. If not enough retention, you can then move on to evenly tightening the screws on the mod wing half a turn at a time until you start to hear and feel more of a click into the holster. Avoid tightening the screws on the mod wing so tight that the rubber spacers begin to over compress. You should be able to get adequate retention without over compressing these spacers. The key part of this process is to begin with the shock cord and ensure that you're tightening each screw on the mod wing evenly. To place the express on body, start by picking a position between your hip bones. Make sure you put your Enigma on with the faceplate facing out and the holster against your body. You can find more resources on proper Enigma placement for your body type through the QR code in your package. Your fitlock buckle is magnetic and is secured with a locking system. Once your buckle is secured, it can only be released by pulling the tab forward towards your faceplate. Make sure to release the belt tension before attempting to release your buckle. Your belt also has a tri-glide. If the tri-glide placement is uncomfortable, simply slide it to its ideal location. Your leg leash buckle also has a locking system. To release your leg leash buckle, press on the button in the center. Do not lever on the tab as this could cause the leash to break if done repeatedly. Place your leg leash high and secure on your thigh. This should give you maximum mobility while keeping the leg leash from shifting too much as you move. While your Express comes pre-configured, you can still make custom adjustments if needed. The Express comes with one of the larger wing inserts already installed. You can change the amount of grip rotation you get by changing the size of your wing insert. For a step-by-step -step walkthrough on changing out your mod wing inserts, watch our full instruction video. To increase slide tuck and to move your buckle closer to your faceplate, you can change your buckle position. The buckle can be placed closer or further from the faceplate depending on the hole used and can be moved onto the left or right side of your Enigma. You might notice that you are left with excess belt and leg leash material. Don't trim your belt and leg leash until you've tried all carry positions, accessories, and adjustment methods then trim with scissors and sear with a lighter. For help with leg leash adjustment and proper trimming, make sure to watch our video guide. Now that you have your new Express nearly set up, you might be considering how to add additional tools like a spare magazine, knife, OC spray, or even medical supplies to the chassis itself. If you're looking for some ideas on just how to do that, then check out our video about carrying multiple items on the Enigma. And with that, you should have all the information you need to get started with your new light bearing Enigma Express. If you find that you need more detailed instructions, follow the QR code in your package or go to the product instructions for the light bearing Enigma Express on our website.